what's going on guys welcome back to another video and i hope all is well now you know uh, some of you know occasionally on this channel i'll give tutorials um technical tutorials um, on how to do different editing techniques and um, i make it some people say i explain it in a way that's very, very simple and um, today i'm going to go over chroma key um that's the green screen effect i'm going to show you how to uh, create a green screen with just um, your cell phone. Right now, I'm recording on my um, iPhone. If that's all you have is a cell phone, you don't need any um, expensive camera equipment to change your background. As you can see, I have a lamp here. Um, in my background, that's not going to be an issue. I'm going to show you how to um, get this out. I'm going to show you how to get all of that out. I'm going to show you step by step, and I'm going to try to break it down in a way where anyone can do it. So, yeah, like I said, occasionally on this uh, channel, I'll give technical um, tutorials. And, you know, I did a one for um, uh, editing your voice. So I did a video on that, and that'll be a link to that will be in the description and also in the cards as well. So you can refer to that. And I'm going to continue to do several of these videos. There's a lot of technical things that seem difficult, but it's not really difficult. All you have to do is follow what I say step by step. And um, you'll be able to change your background. You'll be able to edit your voice. All you need is um, just a simple microphone like this. It's a blue microphone. They're inexpensive now. Um, you can get these used for under $100. So I recommend picking up one of these. I'm not using it right now. I'm um, just using the um, microphone for my cell phone. But if you're serious about YouTube, get one of these. Um, it's a really good microphone, and you can get a pop filter for it if you want. I don't use a pop filter, but I um, I probably need to get one um, eventually. Um, that, But that's if I want to do voiceovers and stuff like that. Um, I probably need a pop filter. And there's other things I can do as well. But stay tuned. Um, I'm going to show you in this video how to change the background. It's real simple to do. And I'm using Adobe Suite. That's what I use. That's my, uh, my editing software of choice. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to get this out. All right, guys. So I'm back. All right. This is my workspace. And this is the workspace we're going to use to um, get the green screen out. Like I said, all you need is a cell phone. And you just need a simple green screen background and adequate lighting now in this video i didn't have adequate lighting but i'm going to show you how to fix that anyway in um adobe um, premiere pro and don't be intimidated by this um right here because all you have to do is follow what i'm doing step by step all right and you can pause the video and i guarantee you at the end of this tutorial you'll know how to change any background in the video and all you need, you don't need fancy video equipment. You just need your cell phone. All right, so the first step is we're going to bring our media in. So we're going to double click or you can drag your media in. So I'm just going to double click. And I already have my media set up. So I'm just going to highlight and hit open. All right, so the next step is we're going to create a sequence. So it says right here, drop media here to create sequence but I'm gonna create my own sequence aka the timeline so the next step is you're gonna to go to file you're gonna to go to new and you're gonna to go to sequence now my video is 1080p so I'm just gonna keep it DSLR 1080p 30 frames per second I'm just gonna use this because I can always fix the video and before and before I start rendering so just follow this right here Pause the video if you need to, and then just hit uh, enter or OK. All right, so we have our sequence here. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to edit the portion of the video that we need, and we're going to drag it over to the sequence. All right, so what we're going to do, hover over the video and double click. All right, so here's the video right here that um, I want to use, but I'm not going to use all the video. I'm just going to, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a little bit of this video because we're only concerned about this green screen. 
So I'm just going to hit I on my keyboard. That's mark in, or you just hit this button and that deletes everything um, before this point. Okay. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this video. I'm just going to use a, a lot of it. Not much. I'm gonna, right about there. And I'm going to hit mark out or o on your keyboard. So it deletes everything here and it deletes everything before it. It's only keep the portion that you want. And this is what you do too to edit, um, you know, a bunch of changes in your video. You can just start playing with this timeline and start dragging them and putting them into place on your main on your main timeline or your sequence. All right, so we're just going to hover over here and we're going to drag down to our timeline. Okay, so this picture here, we're going to replace this background with this picture. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this picture in between here, in between the audio and the um, actual video. So you're going to just click on the video, hold it, and drag up a little bit because we're going to put the picture in between here. All right. So we're going to drag the picture over. All right. And then make it the full length of the video. Now, you can also use video footage, too. Um, to change your background. It doesn't matter, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just using a picture. All right. So the next step is I want to mask out this portion of the video that I want. And I only want what's inside this black line here, which is this green. Okay. That's all I want in the top of my, I want the top of my hat, but I want that green right there. Just that green right there. Cause my head is not going to go above here. So I just want that right there. So I got to mask out everything else. You see that lamp? I don't need that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to click on the video, not the audio, not the picture, the video. We're going to go over to effect controls. Okay, we're going to go down, see where it says FX opacity. This is the section that we're going to um, concentrate on. We're going to see right now. My when you when you hover over the video, it's just my cursor. But when you go to FX opacity and click on this pen, when you hover back over the video, it's just going to be a pen. And we're just going to click anchor points for the section of the video that we need. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. You see that lamp? We don't need that. Only thing I want is that green in here. That's all I want in my body. Because you're not going to know, you're not going to know once I um, mimic this video, you're not going to know that all this was busy in my background. You're not going to know that. All right, so hover over the video. See that section of the green? We want that. Just click on it. And we're going to go down a little bit. Click there. Then we're going to come over, draw a straight line. We're going to click right around there. We're going to go up. We're not going to click on the black. We're just going to click on the green. Right about there. Then we're going to come, come over a little bit. And come over. Oops. Let me hit undo. All right. Cool. Click right. Oops. Give me a second. I'll fix it. Oh, hold on a second. I don't know why this is not working. All right. Cool. Click there, and we're going to click there. All right, you see, the portion of the video um, is all gone. All that busy stuff is gone. All you see is me with the green screen background. That's all we need. Okay, and let me just show you that the picture is in back of here. Let me just show you. Click on the picture, then go over here to Effect Controls. You see where it says scale? You're just going to hover your mouse over it. You're going to left click, hold it, and drag that picture up into frame. See that? So what I need to do now is I need to take that green out. So this is what we're going to um, tackle next. Let me just click on the video. See that? That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right because we got to get that green out. So all you're going to know is I'm just in, this is my background, but I'm going to show you how to do it now. So click on the video. Now you're going to come over here 
to where your video is down here. You see these little drop down arrows? Click on that and go down to effects. And we're going to type in ultra key. It's already tight for me because I did it earlier. And you're going to click on ultra key. You're going to left click and hold it and drag it up to the video. Okay. All right. So your chroma key, if you go back to your effects controls, um, I'm sorry, your ultra key, excuse me. You're going to go down and you're going to see it right here. This is the section that we worried about now. Okay, so we're going to make sure our video is highlighted. And we're going to go to the eyedropper. Click on the eyedropper. And you're going to click on a section of the green, a clean section, not the, not the shadow. We're going to click right here. Now, you see um, how that disappeared? So it's almost perfect. So play it. You can still see some problematic areas. So we're going to fix that. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to go back here. So that, that eyedropper tool worked. And that, like I said, the eyedropper tool worked. But you're going to see that it's not perfect. And I'm going to show you because uh, we need to really focus on this area to get it perfect. Because remember I said that I had shadows in my video and that was that was problematic, but we're going to work on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back over here and you see where it says composite. We're going to hit the drop down and we're going to change it to alpha channel. All right. Now you see. This is some area that we need to work with right here. All right, so like I said, we had to click on uh, Alpha Channel because we want to make sure in my body there's no um, shadows. And let me show you. So click on Alpha Channel. You're going to go down to Matte mat Correction. Click on that. Let me show you something. You see that? We don't want that. We want. I want myself to be perfectly white. So you're gonna. You're just going to adjust it. Till you, till you don't see anything. So that's perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, um, we already covered the transparency. We um, The highlights we really don't need, but we can um, adjust the highlights. Let's see. See if that do anything. Yeah, that see, that changed it a little bit because we want this background as black as possible. All right. We're going to go down to shadow. Oh, yeah, that's taking the background up. Just what we need. This is what we want. I want to be perfectly white, and I want the background to be black. All right, so the shadow pretty much took care of it. So let me look, let me look at the tolerance. See if there's anything that I need to do. Let me hit Control-Z, so that's good. Um, Let's see. We can go down to pedestal and see what pedestal does. All right, see that? The pedestal, we, we changed it to 100. That made the background completely black. So we're going to go back up to alpha channel and click on composite. And now it's perfect. Now we totally took care of that background. Let me play the video. Okay, let me fix something. See my hat? My hat, there's some sparkle sparkles in my hat. See it right there? All you have to do is go back to composite, go to alpha channel, and I can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to transparency and see if that works. All right, I think that took it out. Let me go to tolerance. I think that's going to work. Let's see. Yeah. So we're going to go back. You always change it from alpha to composite because alpha, you, you can see all of the imperfections. All right, let's look at my hat. You see it? It changed it. 
Sometimes you need to zoom in just to see um, your imperfections. So everything looks good. Look at that background. Everything looks good. So let me go back to the um, view. Go back to fit. See, now it's perfect. See, there's no lamp. <laughs> All right, guys, so you see it right there. Um, my background is totally um, perfected. And I'm going to show you how it looks in the regular video in a second. I explain it in a way that's very, very simple. And um, today I'm going to go over chroma key. Um, that's the green screen effect. I'm going to show you how to uh, create a green screen with just um, your cell phone. Right now I'm recording on my um, iPhone. If that's all you have is a cell phone, you don't need any um, expensive camera equipment to change your background. As you can see, I have a lamp here. Um, in my background, that's not gonna be an issue. Oh, it was one thing that I forgot to mention in this video. Um, this green screen is blue on one side and green on the other. Right now I have it on green because I have a blue hat on. Now, if I'm wearing all blue or whatever, I'm gonna use the green screen. You don't wanna wear the same color as your uh, green screen. That's important, I forgot to um, point that out. But let's say if I'm wearing a green hat, um, I have a blue, I can also um, use the blue background. So I just wanted to point that out.